K-I-L-R Killer Games Hey, hey, everyone. It is uh, another fun... Fun. Gaming, fun gaming episode with yours truly, Killer Gamer. Nerd Gamer 2K. As we play a game called Fun to Laugh. No. FTL Faster Than Light. Part f number four. Ivy. Ivy. And in this uh, particular episode... Is there going to be Zoltan suffering? I don't know. We'll have to see. Mm hmm. All right. So, in part three, um, in case you can't figure that out, that was the last episode. Oh, yeah. uh, we were flying through rock territory and actual rocks, as a matter of fact. We were invaded by a rock, but not a regular rock. And we had to have a couple of our people who aren't rocks take it down. And there was a civilian ship that was needing help finding their way through the sector, so we led them to their destination. And we were re uh, rewarded throughout the sector with enough scrap to upgrade our piloting controls and add a third layer of shields, which is always good. We even found a stasis pod that we can't open. Aww. We had a battle with a rock ship that was loaded with nasty weapons. Thankfully, we knocked their weapons out quickly. But our victory was not without a price. We had a hull breach, but thankfully it was contained in one room due to our upgraded blast doors. It didn't take long for us to fix the breach. As I was saying, those doors, upgrade them, they're important. And then we finally made it to the jump point for Sector 4. There was only one path to follow, and that was to Zoltan Space. Beings made of pure energy. Pure energy. And you can see right underneath the uh, Zoltan controlled sector, that's what those Zoltans look like. As a matter of fact, I think we have one on our ship. Yeah. No, we have a bug thingy. No, I'm pretty sure it's a Zoltan, because he's powering up one of the rooms. Yeah, but he looks like a bug. Oh, well, he's not a bug. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's let's go ahead and jump out of here and jump in to FDL. We're back. Getting ready to jump into sector number four. Yeah. Don't want to hit new game, that would suck. That would suck. Alright, so here we are. Three layers of shields getting brighter. Doing pretty awesome. And we're going to save our scrap until we get to a store. Whoa! Is there, as a matter of fact. Wow, which store do we go to? Actually, I think what we should do is see if we can get some money. How about we go here, and then we can choose between both of those stores. Or actually, we can go here, then here, there, here, there, and, there. and then there. over there. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And then there is no other way out here, though. We would have to go this way and around, so hopefully the, um, I, We might be okay. I'm hoping so. The Zoltan Academy sits docked just outside the beacon perimeter. They're happy to show you the fruits of their labor and offer something to take home with you. We got scrap and a reverse ion field. Ion field should be really good. Here it is. This protects your ship from ion damage, giving 20% chance to negate it. Oh, those are good. Ion fields can be a pain in the butt. Because mm -hmm. they, like, electrically interfere with your weapon systems, like the Ugh. shields, for example. So it's like it doesn't damage them, but it takes time for it to recover, so... not so fun. Alright, here we go to the store. I like the pretty background. Alright, a human ship sails. Hails. <laughs> not sails. <laughs> Maybe he is sailing around. My friends, please, there is nothing I don't have, and there is nothing worth wanting that I can't get. Why not take it around my shop? Well, I bet you, you don't have what we want. 
Ah, uh, drone control. Cloaking. I would love to get that, but we don't have the money. Uh, we have a slug for sale. There's an energy person. Yeah, that's one of the Zoltans right there. They are allies of the Ingi. Or is it Inja? I have no idea how that's pronounced. Ingi. <laughs> and a human. But these that, are, these oh. Are pretty, these are pretty costly, though. What I don't, about, a, what's a snail? A slug? You mean the slug. Uh, they are... Let's see, I don't really want to buy them because I can't really see. Um, tele telepathetic, telepathetic... Telepathetic? Telepathic powers. Okay, they review rooms and life forms even when sensors are down. So what does that mean? Um, they have the ability oh. of sensors, basically. So, like, if you're in the, um, purple area... And you can't see your rooms, he will let you know if there's like I fire or something? I think so. I think so. That'd actually be pretty nice. I've actually not played with any slugs, so it would be real interesting to see how they work. Um, yeah, anyway, let's see here. We got... We should fix our hole. Fix our hole. That probably would be good. We don't really have anything to sell except for the damage stasis bot, which has nothing. Let's go ahead and fix that. We can probably get fuel at the next one. Yeah. So have you ever done cloaking? Yes. Does it work? It works. How? Um, you can upgrade your cloaking and what it does is it causes your ship to kind of... It looks like it disappears and anything that's shot at you just goes right through. Oh, cool. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. Alright, I don't see them yet, so... I think we'll have enough time to get around. We will. Go, cool. let's go. Here. A message broadcast from a nearby planet announces the presence of an ancient Zoltan monastery available for visit visiting. Likely just a tourist trap, but still too bad you don't have the time to visit. Aww. Well, that was a waste. What a waste. And here they come. Uh oh. I think we can still get out. The Mantis crew here has hunkered down in the abdomen of a long-dead space whale. The only way, presumably, for them to operate their black market tray without detection. Worth a look? Let's find out. Well, we got some augmentations here. A repair arm. These are kind of good. They repair the hull every time you collect scrap. But it reduces the scrap collection by 15%. Ugh. Still not bad though. Got the hole fixed. We can add some more. We're probably gonna need more fuel. Yeah, let's buy some. Let's see what we can do with the ship first. Definitely not gonna be able to do the shields. Those are pretty costly. Um, other than piloting, piloting would be good, but I don't want to take 50 out of that. Sensors, I've did it once as far as seeing enemy power usage, and it's just, it's a waste. <laughs> um, the piloting is good, because you, you like half the time you can evade, and of course the doors, you definitely want that upgraded all the way. Oxygen, engines. Why are there three other slots? Oh, that's for other... Some ships have more options. Uh, for example, if you had cloaking, there'd be one here. Uh, teleportation, there'd be one here. Mm. So there are just other systems you can get that we don't have. And you can upgrade those systems. We might do the engines. Maybe the heal. Uh, I don't know, the healing takes a little That's going to take another power bar. Well, there's not going to be any more stores. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and let's up our engines. Let's add a power. And then buy more fuel. And then we'll buy more fuel. Buy all of them. Yep, yeah, 
sure can. Okay. This would have been good to have scrap recovery arm because you're able to get more scrap, but uh, for the price of it, eh, I don't know. This is not, I, ha I haven't really done too much with this. Advanced FTL navigation allows the ship to jump to any previously visited beacon. What does that mean by beacon? Um, ba ba uh, those things on the, here. Yay, we can make it. These are all beacons. I've always been able to go back. I think it might allow you to jump back to one and not travel back to one. I think that's what that means. Kind of like if you already visit it, then you can just jump. You can over just there. jump right back. So if I, if we're out here and we get some money, we want to jump back to the store. If we could. If we can, yeah. The, the I, I think advanced FTL does really does not help you much, especially when the rebellion's coming right behind. You know, you really don't have time to go back. All right, let's get here. Ah, uh, things pick up. By the time you notice the rebel ship behind the beacon, it's too late to avoid a fight. These are hidden uh, ones. Ooh, and they got drones. That's a lot. Drones can be bad. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Looks like they got two laser things. These weapons can be nasty. Um, we could have upgraded the... Let's see if we can get their main weapons down first. These are just beam things, I believe. They have so much stuff. Oh yeah, the other one would be drone control, wouldn't it? Yeah. Good thing we have three layers of shields. Exactly. And there goes our oxygen. Might want to fix that. Yeah, let's get our engine guy over there. How do you auto fire? Right here. Just click on it. Oh, I didn't even see that there. Man, that missile thing is kicking our butts. Start shooting some missiles at it. Are you look at that? It shot right through. Aww. Let's let's do some more missiles. Well, that one missed. Oh, there's a fire. Or no, never mind. Are you gonna fix your healing thing? I don't need it just yet. Awesome. Let's take care of these drones now. Hold on, let's get him. Let's knock out their shields. They don't have too many shields. Oh, missed. Well, they're trying to escape now. And we only got one missile left, that figures. I think that's their engine room. Let's just start shooting at their engines. They're gonna, they're gonna jump. We're gonna lose them. Aww. Yeah. Man, used up all our missiles just trying to get that guy. That just figures too. Let's get you in there too. You might want to swap those two people in the... Yeah. yeah. I'm 
just as we were beginning to turn thing turn it around they decide to run have figures cowards evil people all right I think everyone's at a hundred percent well at least we can see where they're at captain killer gamer he's doing pretty good with his uh, skills not too bad usually when it gets up all the way you get some uh, pretty good um, skill skill ups there Felicity doing pretty good on engines and repairing bones man he's doing good with weapons 14% faster charge so that's why the uh, weapons don't take as long to charge now but but look hey shields are doing good 20% faster recharge those are good too and engines he's working engines he's doing pretty good too doing better than Felicity's. <laughs> he's been in there longer I mean shorter yeah maybe it's because he's powering it could be that could be why all right well we didn't get any scrap there's really nothing else to do let's <laughs> let's start getting out of here let's see don't go that way we can go well we can go that way but we won't have there's not gonna be much we can really do I'd say we probably should go this way if you take the long way they'll catch up not this way they won't. look at how close they are yeah we'll still be ahead of them don't worry it's going this route if we did that oh yeah they'll definitely catch up I would prefer to do this but I think they'll be right behind us right around here and, and then we'll get caught next to the gate yeah we'll get caught next to the gate oh yeah they should come right about here let's just see we have to go this way anyway let's just see what happens <gasps> oh the stasis Yay! pod you arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has time to undergo view scans. Uh, now, when you have something blue, always that click it, it. Always click it. It's related to a crew member that you have on board. And since we have a Zoltan on board, <laughs> we have this option. Interesting. I've never seen a cryogenic system like this. It appears to be still functioning. They hook it up to their system and run a number of tests on it. Amazing. It has the ability to reconstruct the body if it was damaged during transit. Watch. They reactivate the pod and you watch as the hunks of crystal inside reform to build a humanoid structure. The pod slides open and the reformed alien steps out. It speaks slowly. Good eatings. I appear to be in your debt. My people isolated themselves a long time ago, but perhaps it's time to reestablish a connection. There's a hidden wormhole near the Rock Homeworlds. Perhaps you can take me there so I can properly repay you. We have another person. There he is. That looks Ooh, like his 125. name is. Oh, 125. Oh wow. Yeah, who is Ruin. He? Ruin. Ruin. Lockdown. Lockdown. Not ready. Power charging. See charge left of portrait. <laughs> Is he a robot or something? Yeah, I think. Yeah, see, there. It's he's charging. Huh. This is new. I've never had this guy before, and I've never had that option. That's the thing. This game always seems to come up with something new. Just when you thought you've seen everything, you, you haven't. I wonder if he's strong in fighting. I don't know. Most likely. Let's get you over here. Let's take a look at the crew here. He's a crystal guy. Ancient ancestors ancestors of the Rockmen. Lockdown power, activate in crew box. Reduce suffocation damage. Movement speed is reduced by 20%. Health is increased 120. Click to lock down room with special power. What does that do, I wonder? 
Click to lock down room with special power. You know what? Shield room. Because that's where we got the most power. If we can lock that down... That was kind of cool. Oh, it fades away. Do you see that? So it protects things from going in? Or fires or something? Or keeps anyone from evading, maybe? That's kind of cool. Let's wait for him to charge up might be necessary. <laughs> we might need him on the next one. Maybe. We haven't had anybody. Well, yeah, we did. Ow. We got no missiles, so we can only rely on our laser bursts. Yeah, they're... Oops. Told you. But I think... We'll get stuck. Is it this one? I guess it's, it would say like, yeah, something else. Don't go there. No, we can go here. See, they're, they're, they're not in there, so we're fine. If we, we, if we went into something that was in here, like here, then we're in trouble. Oh. This one, since these worlds are close together, I think we have some trouble with. Alright, let's go. Another unmanned ship of this area. You prepare the ship for combat. Looks like he's out of oxygen. Oh, we're cloaking. Yep, there's your cloaking. He's out of oxygen because. lock on anything. Arr! I say just charge up your FTL and leave. Well, it's charging up automatically. Yeah, I know. Well, they got shields, missiles. See, meanwhile, they're charging up all their weapons while they're sitting in cloak. And there they go. <laughs> this could be nasty. Um, lockdown! That didn't seem to help, did it? It might help with people going on board. Oh my goodness. We're getting beat now. They have so many guns. You might want to hit their cloaking. I'm trying to hit their weapons so that way it... And we don't have any missiles. Add two to the shield. You missed your chance. It can't. The ion. It wasn't there. It. Oh. Let's see if we can. Yeah, like one there and one there. Jump! Leave! Leave! Hold on. Leave. <sighs> it just completely missed. Okay, now add your shield. And leave. Just leave. Come on, I have an idea. I don't want to die. What we do... Oh, hold on. So what you do this time, what I'm doing is I'm waiting for them to charge up and then I'll fire all at once. <laughs> that one's ready. Figures. <laughs> there. 
Now we hit their weapons. What? Did we add through their shields? A little bit. Damaged their weapons just a tad. We're getting there. It might be automated, it might be repairing those weapons, I don't know. Yeah, we really should have gotten cloaking twice. We didn't have enough money for it. It's too expensive. Boom! Ah, the ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap metal. Yay! Oh, it took out our hull, though. Look at that. Alright, let's go get you fixing that thing up. <laughs> Gamer lost some health. Yeah, I see that. Let's go get you in there. Oh, he's healing. Back in here. Who else is down? Hundred, 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 seventy. I think he's yeah, that's always normal. at seventy. So, well, we got some scrap. What else is out here? Ye yikes! Yeah, we'll make it. But oh my goodness, they are right on our tail. What kind of upgrade? Well, we can upgrade. We don't have any. It's not going to help us. We don't have any missiles. <laughs> There's really nothing else we can do at the moment. Scrap. Catch a glimpse of a strange signal coming from a space station before your sensors shut off unexpectedly. As you discover your sensors are being jammed, you hear hostiles beam onto your ship. We have intruders. See, this is why you buy this nail. Well, I'm not sure where they're at. But we should be able to get him in lockdown. They are somewhere and here. We, they, we should start seeing them shoot somewhere. There it is, right there. They are in here. Okay, time to lock down. Meanwhile, I'm flooding this out. I think we got them. <laughs> well, whoever they were, they're gone. That was funny. Just like stop shooting. It's like one shot. Boom. <laughs> that was it. We're waiting for our, our oxygen to go back up. Right, he's all charged back up too. See, you see how the blast doors kept them in? Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, upgrade your doors as far as possible, as quickly as possible. You will be thankful you did. It's funny, every time I play this game, I, I want to try to do things differently, mm -hmm. but 
I know that if I don't do it a certain way, I will totally get owned. But some, sometimes you just kind of want to play differently no matter what, just so you can check other things out. Ninety-nine percent. Our evasion's up twenty-seven. That's pretty. Good. There we go. I know that would be awesome. I've never seen it. Go I think I've seen it close to fifty, but yeah, definitely not that high. Ah, oh, they're like right on their tail. Ah, you arrive in an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. To access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the Natural Mineral Protection Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. No. Oh. You don't. <laughs> right, now, with these Zoltan ships... ...are tricky. As you can see, they have a green shield around them. That means you have to take that out first. It's like... ...not screen thing off of them and then and then you've got two layers of shields to hit after that yeah up automatically. I think we should shoot at the same time. There's only two of them in there. Thank goodness for the asteroids. And look, they're hitting... Okay. Wait, they're almost gone. Just let the asteroids take care of their shield. Their green thingy. I could, but they've got these weapons here that could be... And remember, if we hit, take this out first, the rocks will start hitting the rest of their shields. Alright, so the green stuff is gone. Ooh, that's a good thing that we have our shields. Those beam weapons are nasty. Alright. Let's hit their shields. I wish I had a teleporter. We could just teleport on board and kill them. Because they're, they're weak. So yeah, remember that. He's gonna that. die in that fire. Yeah, he is. <laughs> so that one's gonna die in that fire, too. Let's hit their um, piloting room. That's gonna kill this guy. Alright, he's gone. That fire's... Uh, look at their doors. They're so weak. He's not going to survive if he stays in there. <laughs> he can just burn to death. Ah, dang it, I was hoping to take the ship. Alright, ship explodes even behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Oh, we got some more missiles. of time to get there. Let's see. Oh, we can't do any upgrades. We can do it in the thingy. Yeah, let's see what we got here. The exit beacon! You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump! Wow, wow. There are only two ships within range and they seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has the markings of a space pirate. Should we aid the civilian ship or stay out of it? Ah, I say aid them. Why not? Yeah. You power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. It's just more of those... Oh, look. They have they a crystal thingy. No, no, that's a rock. That's a rock guy. The rock and the crystals, they are... Um, related. Makes sense. 
Alright, so no teleporters. We don't have to worry about them coming on board, but they got three sets of weapons. We do have a missile, so that's good. We have two missiles. Use them when needed. Alright. Let's aim. Probably not going to get through. Alright. See how important it is to get those shields as oh, high yeah. as possible? Now you may have noticed my guy's, uh, my pilot is yellow now. That means yeah, he that. is, yeah, he's fully le leveled up. Well, oh, that's that the same with the missiles. Because that's weapons. Yeah. Oh yeah, so yeah, weapons is really good. So yeah, the pilot is not up all the way. But weapons is... Look at that. 19% faster charge. He's doing awesome. So my pilot is almost up there. There he is, he's over on this side. Alright, let's try those weapons again. Part of it. That shield's gonna be a problem. Okay, I think we can go after their shields now. Give them more than one thing to worry about. Weapons. Oops. That's right. I want them to charge up at the same time. Got it. Boy, no matter what I do, I can I still can't destroy those things. He's trying to take out the fire <laughs> now. That means he's delayed. Means we can damage those shields some more. <laughs> well, that takes care of them. Pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the civilian ship. Well, we got some stuff. More missiles. One. More scrap. The sector has become increasingly dangerous for friends of the Federation. I think my crew can patch up some of your hull damage. They did. That's cool. Yay. Good thing we didn't spend any money fixing it. Oh, yeah. All right. 118 scrap. That's awesome means we can we can't upgrade the shields to four yet eventually you're gonna want to but um, maybe we, we, if we set that money aside we might be able to get some better weapons and at this point I think we can just go ahead and jump next sector Sector 5, we have Zoltan homeworlds or rock homeworlds. We're going to want to go to the rock so we can take that crystal guy, I think. Oh, yeah. But then we'll be, we'll have to go to an, well, we could just go to all four rocks. Well, the reds don't necessarily mean rock. They're just hostile territory. Ah. Uh. They could be other ones. We don't know. I wouldn't mind going to another Zoltan one because that's a relatively easy sector go to go through, but... Yeah. Let's see if we can get some type of reward for taking the crystal guy home. This is this is a pretty, I want to say, unique opportunity because I've never seen this. So, all right, rock it is. Hey, we just unlocked something. Cool. Ooh, we got another ship. Yeah, we got a new ship. Awesome. The rock people have a particularly aggressive stance toward alien races transpa transparenting, trespassing in their space. You should tread carefully here. Congratulations by making it to the fifth sector. You've unlocked the in NG Ingi playable ship for future playthroughs. Woohoo! Alright. And we get the cool music again. There it is. Quest. Yeah, that's what it says. So see if we can get through those four things. Not there. 
Well, we can get through that way, but let's see. We don't want to go backwards. Ma. This is going to be tricky. But if we do this, we're going to have to go around probably this way and up around. That'll work. There's really no other way to do it, though. Well, if we had to, if the, if the if it looked like we weren't going to make it around this way, we can go back and then up. Wouldn't it be the same? No, no. See, I was going to go... We could do this. Go down here. Maybe here, back like this. And around, and then up. Wouldn't that catch them up to us? May or may not, but we have more options to shorten our travel. But if we go like this, then we're stuck going like this. See that? Mm -hmm. See how we're all the way on the edge here? So if the rebellion has already caught up to this point, yeah, we're going to be backed up against the edge of the sector. And we'll have to fight through them all through these areas just to get to the exit. So yeah, let's head this direction. I think we can go from here to here. You know, unless there's a store that drags us off the path, but if we go here, then we can backtrack like this. And then if we need to cut through and go here, we can. Or we can go, you know, whatever. You'll, we'll see it when we, when we get there, so. Cool! Alright, well now that we've explained everything that we're going to do on the next episode. Yay! <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and we'll close for now and we'll, uh, get ourselves psyched up for the next episode and the uh, next sector. sector <laughs> five! Part five! On our quest to get all the way to the end to join up with the Federation and their fight with the uh, mother ship. The big, big ship from the Rebellion. Yeah, it's kind of a nasty thing. But anyway, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Click subscribe and like and all that other fun stuff and add us to Google Plus and follow us on Facebook and Twitter and all that other good stuff anyway. Um, and we'll let you know when the next part comes out. We'll see ya!